G'day knuckleheads, Uncle Knackers here. Well, I hope you all enjoyed episode one of my Owner Builder series. And just in case you missed it, I'll leave a link to the video in the description box below. So make sure you check that one out first. Now, episode two. What I wanna talk about today is what I had to go through to get my Owner Builder's permit. Now, you have to be aware that YouTube is a worldwide phenomenon Phenomena, I hate this word. Ph Hang on a sec. That's the word I'm trying to say. Phenomenon, phenomena. Phen I still can't even say it, but I think you know what I'm trying to say. And as a result of that, depending on where you live, there'll be different rules and regulations in regard to obtaining your owner builder permit. But here in New South Wales, Australia, this is what I had to do. Now, whenever you start talking about certificates and councils and, and insurances and permits, it's really not my cup of tea. And I tend just to hear a bit of white noise. Whoops, a bit distracted. But unfortunately, you need to go through it and the first thing you need to do is to do the Owner Builder course. Now there's a couple of ways you can do your Owner Builders course, either online or in a classroom situation, like at TAFE or something like that. I did mine online and I used a company called Absolute Education. So this is the Absolute Education website. Now I have no affiliation with this company, but they were recommended to me and it was fantastic. Very simple to follow and there's a lot of information there. So I'll leave a link to these guys in the description box below. So the first thing people ask about the owner builders course is, so what's in it and what do I have to do? Well, the first thing you need to do is to complete your white card, which is like a safety induction course for the construction industry. And once you pass that, then you can do your owner builders course. Now it's pretty straightforward and very obtainable. And it took me about, I don't know, three to four nights to complete the whole thing. So this is the owner builder course through Absolute Education. And these are the modules which you will need to complete to successfully pass the course. Now we'll start off with module one, which is prepare to be an owner builder. Module two is administer contracts. Module three is occupational health and safety, followed by drawings, estimating and cash flow, and you finish up with managing the work. And just to give you an idea of what's actually in these modules, we'll just click on prepare to be an owner builder, and we come up with the course content, prepare to be an owner builder. We start off with a table of contents, and then we get into the text of the module, which will give you all the information that you need. And then we'll finish up with a bunch of questions coming up here, which you'll need to complete, such as what is owner builder work? What are your responsibilities as an owner builder? Etc. Etc. And the good thing is that in the actual course itself, these questions are in multiple choice format. So it's pretty good. And I really couldn't recommend it more highly. So I'll have to give it the old Uncle Knackers two thumbs up award. So that was a basic overview of the Owner Builder course. Now, let's talk about insurance. <laughs> Now on the more serious note of insurance, it's really important to seek the advice from an insurance broker who actually deals with owner builders, because believe it or not, a lot of insurance companies won't. Just so you know what to ask for when you're approaching these insurance brokers, the policies that you'll need as an owner builder are the contract of works insurance policy, the public liability policy, and the workers compensation policy. Now there's lots of others you can get, but these three here, you need. 
And remember, when looking for insurance, make sure you shop around. Otherwise you might find yourself burning a lot of money. Just like that. That was the fake money, wasn't it? You sure? <laughs> okay, so where to next? Well, we've paid up our insurances, we completed the white card course, we finished the owner builders course, and the next thing you need to do is to head on down to the Department of Fair Trading and apply for your owner builder permit. And make sure when you head on down there that you have all the relevant documentation. So what do I mean about relevant documentation? Well, the first thing you'll need is a council stamped copy of your house plans. The next thing you'll need is the DA from the council stating that your plans have been approved. Third thing is a current rates notice. And the fourth and final thing is evidence that you've completed the owner builders course and that you've also completed your white card. Okay, take a big breath because you're almost there. Now the final step is to take your owner builder permit down to council to get your CC, which stands for construction certificate. Now this is where I made my big mistake, which I referred to back in episode one. Actually, it really wasn't a mistake, it was just poor planning on my behalf, primarily due to the lack of experience in this whole procedure. And I really wasn't aware that the cost of obtaining your CC is in relation to how much your renovation is going to cost. The more expensive the job, the higher the fee. I think I had another one of those white noise moments. How much? That can't be right. And there you have it. A very quick overview of the process you need to go through to get to the actual building phase of your project. And in all honesty, this topic requires a much longer video, but I hope it just gives you a glimpse of what to expect. So we're getting closer and closer to an actual start date. And in the next episode, I'd like to walk you through the house as it stands now and talk to Tony Ross from architectural firm Design Studio 22. These are the guys that designed our new pad. So I hope you can stick around for that one. Well, my time's about up. So I hope you enjoyed and found that video useful. And if you did, please share it amongst your owner builder buddies. And don't forget to give it the big thumbs up. That's always greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. All right, I think it's time for a cup of tea. So till next time, I'm out of here. Cheers.